Eh, Boni. Hello, Boni. Hello, Aldi. Hello, Flora. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Bridge Zone. We're still waiting for others to join us. So thank you for uh, joining today to uh, Tuesday class, which is today. Okay, hopefully we still have a lot of uh, our friends joining. Hey, I see Yi Yin. Hello, Yi Yin. Hi, Ka. Sorry, I'm hey. joining. Like... It's okay. You're you're just in time. We just started. Hello, Denny. Hey, how are you? I'm good. good. To see you, how right? are you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. You're good. Good day, yeah. Okay. Yes. Tuesday. Thank you for joining today, right? Okay. Right. Thank you. Have a good time. Okay. Have a good time, okay? Hello, Macy. Hello. Hello. Nice How to are meet you. you? Nice to meet I'm you good. too. I'm good. Is it your first time you? doing the zone? Yes, this is my first time. Oh, really? How do you know about this zone? Uh, I got the information from IELTS group. I your IELTS group. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're uh, participating in IELTS preparation class, something like that. Yes. 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 So you're going somewhere. You're going abroad. Uh, I just got my LOA conditional from university. What what is that? O O A. Okay, we lost Macy. Uh, he hello, uh, Ata, Aziza. We also have Alfie. Hey, Macy is back. Can you hear me? We also have Rahmi. Hello, Aziza. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. So is it your first time joining Bridgezone? Actually, not the first time. My first time was offline classes when Bridgezone still in the education ministry library. Oh, it's like two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for joining today cl today's class. Okay, hope you enjoy uh, today's session. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, guys. Uh, I already say hi uh, to some of you, but I guess I cannot say hi to each one of you because uh, we're going to start the class. So actually, we have a very interesting topic today. It's about uh, journaling. It's about writing. So actually, I will not talk uh, a lot about the topic itself because the conductor will explain it later. But before I introduce you to uh, our conductor today, uh, I would like to share some uh, announcement. So I have to share this. Hold on. Okay, can you see? Can you see the announcement page? Yes, Carl. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, it's it's not the first page. I have to slide back to the first page. Okay, this is the first page. 
So once again, I would like to say welcome to all of you to the largest English community, hopefully in the world, but now maybe in Indonesia. Okay, hopefully in the world very soon. So uh, I'm glad to have all of you today. For, for, for those who's first timer, I would like to welcome you. For those who are coming back, uh, welcome home. Okay, so in Bridgestone, we are based on these three pillars, which is first, it's all about English education. And then the second one, it's a free and open platform. And also it's based on volunteerism. So you can volunteer as a participant. Also you can volunteer as conductor or even you can volunteer as facilitators, okay? And then we have three classes every week, which is today is the first class of the week. So on Tuesday, it's Bridge Zone Speaking Academy. It starts at 7, uh, focus on public speaking, like speech, debate, interview, etc. And also we have another option, which is tomorrow. It's on Wednesday. We have Bridge Zone English Better Than Series. It still also starts at 7. So it will touch four skills in English, like listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Okay, and okay, wait. Okay, so this is the fun part. We also have Saturday class. It's still a bit different in time. We start at 11. So the topic is also different. You can have fun there. That's why we call it Bridge Zone Fun Day class. It brings various topics. It's very fun topics. I suggest you to join Saturday class, okay? So, because you already uh, being introduced to BitZone, I would suggest you to follow us, okay? So we have Instagram, we have YouTube, we have Twitter. Uh, we also have website and also uh, the latest we have podcasts, okay? So I suggest you to join our podcast. It's also uh, something very fun to join. Okay, and also you, if you want to support us, actually we have a lot of merchandise, which is this merchandise, uh, believe me, I have one. I, I have one, I have the t-shirt and the t-shirt, it feels very good. I even slip in it. So it doesn't just only look good, but it also feels good uh, to wear. So actually uh, it's very, uh, 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 material with quality. So actually I suggest you to order one and it's not expensive, okay? So you can check it out in our Instagram, even we have Shopee. <laughs> and also you can uh, uh, contact Kriska in this number, okay? And the last, not not least because at the end we also we will mention the sponsors so actually we are sponsored by perpustakaan dikbud or library of the education and culture ministry usually we have the meeting in their office but currently because of the pandemic we are doing it online so actually uh, what happened, you can still access the uh, library, okay, uh, instead of joining our Zoom session. Okay, the last we have our tradition, which is uh, usually we will have take pictures together, okay? So I would uh, encourage you to open your, your cam, okay? Not only your mic, okay? I, I want... Of, I want to see your faces, okay? Uh, if you can show your uh, cam right now, just open it. Uh, we, we would be very, very happy. Okay, I guess that's it.
Sorry. Okay. Uh, I will make this ready first. Okay, so before I introduce uh, my uh, keynote speaker or conductor for today, uh, as you maybe recognize uh, our conductor for today, she already conduct for the second times. And I would like to welcome uh, Christela Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Mateko. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Okay. Uh, good evening. Thank you so much for uh, saying yes to us and being our conductor for today and also picking up a very, very unique uh, topic for today. So I, before, I, before you start, I want to ask you one question. Why do you pick this topic? Uh, I think this is going to be interesting because um, it's very personal. And mm -hmm. everyone can actually relate to it and everyone can actually just start because this is not something that is difficult to do and it doesn't really cost much. So you can even try after this session. Wow, that, I like that. I like how that sounds. So actually, you don't need to spend any money. Even after this, you can do it by yourself at home, right? Yeah. Okay. Simple. Okay. So without further ado, uh, I will give the floor to Kak Cindy. Cindy, the floor Thank is you. yours. Thank you, Maseko. And uh, good evening, everyone. It's so very nice to be able to be back here. But uh, today is going to be different from my first session. So I'm not going to talk about something academic. I'm not going to talk about something serious. So this is about something light, something that can be uh, related to your personal life. So as you can see here in the slide, it's journaling reflective for me. Um, before I start with my uh, presentation, I would like to ask you something. Uh, next month. Next. So, uh, you see this black paper. If I ask you to write something on it, what will be it? What will be the things that you're going to write in this paper? Can anyone answer? Uh, can you say it again? What 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 will we right. write on this paper? Yes, so if I give you a piece of paper, what are you going to write in it? Okay, a piece of paper. Uh-huh, yeah. and then? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna write in it? Okay, if I have a pen, then... Well, if me be asked, I, I would say I will, I will write a diary. How about the others? I'm going to write down my daily activities because that's what I've been doing so far. All right. Nice. Okay. How um, about the other? I see some responses on the chat box. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> final exam answers, dreams. Uh, of it doodling your name? All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, Dreams, um, doodling. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of things that you can write or uh, draw on a piece of paper. But sometimes when people hear the word write or writing, it sounds very intimidating. It sounds like it's something very serious. You will just think about assignment. But when you hear the word journal, maybe you will think about something different. Maybe you will think about journal. Is it my academic journal that my lecturer assigned me so that I can pass the class so that I can graduate from university? But this is not going to be the type of journal that I'm going to talk about tonight. Uh, next, Masako. 
wow, this is so nice. So, yes. I there are... <laughs> wish I can write this nice. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, when we hear uh, the word journals, probably we think about uh, academic journals or maybe about the other types of writing. But there are a lot of types of journals, actually. So we have this daily journal or what we are familiar as diary, something that we start with, dear diary. I mean, it sounds so cliche, it sounds so uh, uh, like something comes right out of the screen. But there are also art journal in which you get to decorate uh, the page and house journal in which you record your food intake, your calorie, your weight target, travel journal, uh, travel journal in which you record your uh, journey when you go to a place, you meet new people and then try their local daily. But uh, tonight I'm just going to focus on the daily journal and the art journal. Next month. Oh, okay. So uh, you might ask, why daily journaling? I mean, uh, why should we do that? Why should we write a diary? Like probably you will think, oh, it's gonna be every night. So I'm sure that each and every one of you here has social media accounts, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and probably almost every day you spend maybe hours scrolling uh, scrolling up the uh, timeline to <laughs> yes, the FYP page and then you will just get drowned in it. I mean, maybe you just intend to see one thing, to see one video only, but then you end up scrolling for hours. So I myself is an avid Twitter user. I'm always on Twitter almost every day. And uh, if you are also a Twitter user, you know that there is always something to be argued about, to be debated about. Like everyone in the platform would like to be listened to, would like to be heard. So sometimes they, they throw hurtful comments and then also sarcastic remarks. And uh, sometimes they will also use harsh words, rude words. And when you close the application, it leaves you with crowded mind. It leaves you with something uh, that makes you exhausted. So I think that based on my experience of writing a diary for 13 plus years, you really need to separate yourself from social media because at some point you will need to sit and talk with yourself. And writing a diary is actually a very good time for you to do so because you will uh, have a quiet time with yourself and you will get to see that, oh, this is actually my real life. This is my actual life. And that in the social media is somehow the unreal life that I don't need to keep up with. And uh, also uh, from my personal experience, uh, because I've been doing this for years, I set boundaries between the public and the uh, private space. So I get to see which are the issues that I can share with the public and uh, which are the affairs that I have to keep for myself or maybe that I just share with my friends uh, in the uh, closest circle. So uh, you don't get to over, uh, I mean, you won't overshare, like for example, just, uh, when you walk out of your house uh, to go to the mini market and then you record it and then you share it and then what do you have for lunch? What do you read? Or maybe what songs that you listen to? So sometimes we tend to overshare. Sometimes we cannot see the boundaries, but when you journal consistently, maybe for months, maybe for six months, maybe for a year, then you can separate yourself from social media and then you set boundaries. Like, this is my personal affair. This is, I can share with public. And So Cindy, you're, you're yeah. saying that 
you're saying that uh, when we're seeing social media, we'll actually we're like dreaming, like we're going to Paris, we're going abroad, like we're driving Lamborghini, and then and then by writing, it takes like it takes you ground to earth and back to the reality, and yeah. then try to digest what what you actually see, right? Exactly. Exactly, ma. So what we actually see and what we actually feel and experience. So when you write down your own story, it's not someone else's. It's your own. It's not something that is happening on social media, but it's something that actually happened in your real life. Ah, that's right. That's right. And uh, that takes me to uh, this, uh, the third point. Like you get a chance to know yourself because uh, you know that when you have been doing this, uh, like for example, months or maybe years, and then you will reread your entries, you will see that, oh, uh, this is what I tend to do when I'm sad. This is what I tend to do when I'm happy. This is what I tend to do uh, when I like or dislike people. So from there, you can, uh, you can actually see that, oh, this is, this is myself and this is my emotion that tend to engulf me when I'm in a certain emotion. Mm -hmm. So you know yourself because you spend hours on social media getting to know other people, getting to know celebrities or maybe mm -hmm. a person that maybe doesn't know that you exist, but do you know yourself? That's right. That's right. That's right. I I like the idea that when you're when you actually swipe your FYP or like your social media, it's like you're mm -hmm. you're not living your your own life. You're like living somebody else's life. Like it's not real. And then mm -hmm. by writing, then you're you're actually trying to you know uh being down to earth like okay mm -hmm. so actually if i want to do this i i will do this like what what i feel about it like yeah oh, uh -huh. I, I like it i want to do that things like that right right exactly ma. so oh uh, we also uh can see that when we write a diary because it's only uh us and then also ourselves so mm -hmm. no one's going to give us fake That's... validation no one's going to give us fake phrases so if you make mistakes then you will just admit it to yourself and then uh, you just find solutions on how to make it better yeah that i like that idea i will i will i will write very soon <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh now maybe you think that what should I write? Maybe some of you uh, think that you should start with Dear Diary. No, you don't actually have to start with that. Uh, sometimes I start with, uh, well, I actually have a name for my diary so that uh, I'm talking to a friend, a very close friend of mine who knows my very bad and very good side. So my diary's name is Rani. Uh, so whenever I start my diary, it's like, Rani, today, I feel like, so what is it? What, what am I feeling on the day? So I will just pour everything in. So you can just write anything with all sorts of language that you like. If you are angry, you can use curse words. You can use harsh words. If you are happy and then you want to exaggerate things, then just do it. I mean, no one's going to attack you. No one's going to say that, hey, you cannot use that word. Those are curse words. You're not supposed to use that. No, it's it's your space. I mean, it's just you and yourself. So, just use any kind of language that you like. Okay. Uh, basically, just pour your emotions in. So, uh, find some time to sit and talk to yourself. Like, for example, what happened today? What happened in this particular Tuesday? Uh, did you get a praise from your uh, boss? Did your crush talk to you finally? 
or maybe you found uh, a cute guy in Trans Jakarta. So what happened today, right? So what makes you happy? What makes you sad? You can start with that. What makes you anxious? Maybe because, even, oh, even yeah. Even when we were joining Bridge Zone and it makes me, it makes us happy, can, can we write it down? <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, anything. I mean, any kind of feeling that you think that, oh, I, I just want to share it with myself. It doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be something serious. It can be just something light. And for the uh, people involved in, in that event, is it your boss maybe, your best friend, your crush, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your husband or your wife, right? So just write down their names. Sometimes uh, when you reread your old entries, uh, this is what I, I usually did when I miss uh, my younger version. There will be names that will constantly appear in your diaries. And sometimes uh, you will say that, oh, I usually spend good times with this person. And then it's amazing like how this friendship has been going for like uh, 16 or maybe even 20 years. And it's just keep on going. And then uh, also, this is the most important uh, part. What do you feel? So you need to get to identify your emotion. Like for example, if you are angry, what makes you angry? And, and why do you feel angry about that? And uh, what are you going to do after that? So uh, you get to identify and then also sit with your emotion and, and then deal with that. Uh, can we go back to the uh, previous slide, Ma? Okay. So speaking about emotions, sometimes when we are too overwhelmed with our own feelings, sometimes it's just hard to write. So you don't actually have to uh, fill out your entries with your own story. Sometimes you can just uh, replace it with song lyrics and then maybe highlight the uh, important parts, the parts that are most relatable to you. Uh, I usually do that. And mm -hmm. you can also write short letters. So in your diary, I mean, if you are too embarrassed to write short letters to that particular person, then you can just write it down on your diary. Mm -hmm. And then you can also use poems and motivational words. Uh, I like to share a little bit of story about these motivational words. So uh, I used to write my diary and listening to uh, a radio program. Uh, he was my favorite radio announcer. And uh, he would ask the listeners to send email. Uh, it can be about anything. It can be about your love life. It can be about your uh, marriage, career, your college life, basically anything. So I sent an, an email to uh, him once and then uh, he, he read it during the program. So it was aired throughout Jakarta. And after that, he would ask the other listeners to give remarks and comments about it. Uh, so after he read my email, there are uh, other listeners giving uh, advices and uh, comments, remarks right. about my email. So yeah, they, they, they gave me the motivational words like, oh, you can get through this. Uh, it's OK. It will be over soon. And I will just write it down. I will just write it down. And years later, when I was uh, in my not so good time, I would read that entry and then I would find it motivational words like, oh, I was actually in a worse place, in a worse situation. And then those words actually strengthened me. So sometimes when you look back, it's not always about the bad thing. Sometimes you can just found Sometimes you just can find the gems from your diary. It's just like book of memories, book of life that have your life report on it. So it's not always when, when you reflect to the past, it's not always something sad. It's mm -hmm. also something very uh, uh, giving you motivation, right? 
Yes, exactly. Because uh, you will see that in the past, uh, you were in this bad situation, but then you got the determination, you got all the motivations, and mm -hmm. you just got through it. And then life continues. And then now you are in this uh, bad situation again, so definitely you can get through it. So you can learn from the past, yeah? Yeah, you can learn from the past, definitely. Uh, when I read my uh, old entries, I found that uh, my younger self was very determined. Uh, she was very stubborn about things. So <laughs> those are the qualities that sometimes we forget as adults because of uh, life. But when you look back and then you will see that how much uh, your younger self is actually uh, a strong person. So uh, this is what I get from daily journaling. So uh, chronological thinking. I actually did not realize this until my friend uh, told me so. Uh, I was retelling an event and then uh, he said that, wow, you can really tell in chronological order. Oh, I, and then I realized that is because I've been journaling for, I think for 15 years now. So those are my diaries. I actually have 15 books, but those are the, uh, the three. Uh, so you have one book every year. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of stories that uh, I get to tell my diary because it's, it's just fun. Uh, I'll let you know why uh, later. So you get to uh, think chronologically because you know that, oh, this is where the event starts. And because of this, this, and this, and then it will lead to the eye of the storm. So when the... Uh, when the event actually happened and then what happened after that. If you're doing this consistently, uh, the chronological thinking skill uh, will build uh, over the years and it will help you in, in your work when you are delivering your projects, when you are delivering your presentation and uh, in the academic world, it will help you uh, when you are writing your essay, when you are, uh, researching so you really know from which part that you have to start and also the storytelling skill well because you are retelling your stories to yourself or maybe to an imaginary friend like I have uh, this is my diary called Rani so when you are telling a story to your friends um, you know what kind of words what kind of uh, specific words that you can use just to appeal to their emotions, just to get uh, the stories more spiced up. And another thing is that uh, calmness in mind, because sometimes you will just have this storm in your head. And sometimes when you are too happy, you are just overwhelmed with all the emotions. But after you pour all the emotions in the paper, you will just feel that there is a huge sense of relief and then like, ah, oh, I have shared all of this either to myself or to my friend. Like you have shared it. If it is happiness, of course you have to share it with someone. So you will share it with your, with your closest circle, but then you will also share it with yourself. That is the most important part. Oh, I can relate you on that one. Sometimes when we start the day, we have a lot of things to do. Like, I have to do this, 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 this. And it's like, oh, which one I will start first? And then I just write it down. And then I know, right? after I write it down, it's like, like some of them is already done. But actually, no. <laughs> but actually it, feels, I, it feels like uh, I, I can take care of it. Like, yeah. no, it's okay. Yeah, it actually helps you clear your mind as well because you have uh, written it down. So it's not piled up in your mind so that you can have some space to think about something else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I and agree. Also, with you. And also the uh, personal growth. Uh, like uh, based on my personal experience, I can see that uh, how much I have changed in the course of 15 years. 
definitely people changed, especially if it has taken years. But maybe sometimes you don't know in which part that you have changed, in which part that you have uh, grown up so much, and in which part that you have outgrown your younger self. But if you keep a record of uh, your life journey, then you will know. Like, for example, uh, when I was young, I got angry very easily. Like, I get ticked off very easily because of uh, jokes, because of uh, some light words. But over the time, I realized that, oh, now I don't get angry that easily anymore. I just like, oh, okay, all right, you want to say that? Okay. Fine. Yeah, that's, if that makes you happy, then okay. It makes you happy, right? The, the yeah. feels of achievements. Like, sometimes we, we just feel like very cranky, like, Uh, I don't do anything. I don't make a. Uh, I don't oh, make anything all. better in my life. But mm-hmm. when you read in the past, that it's actually you're doing better today, right? Right. Sometimes we just feel like when 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 we look back, it's just like oh, every day is just the same, right, Mas? But when we have this life report, when we have this diary, we actually can see that oh, I have actually outgrown my younger self. Now I'm calmer, for example. Now I am mm-hmm. more mindful, for example. Mm-hmm. But then we can see that, oh, well, there are small steps in our life, but, well, it's still an achievement. And uh, you can be proud of yourself. And it is yeah. well important. I like that. I like that part. <laughs> But I know that I like this part much better. Can you explain <laughs> about this? It's 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 mind blowing. I, I is it part of the journaling as well? Yes. So our journal or scrapbook is also part of journaling as well because uh, if you like to decorate your uh, diary, your journal, then you can just mm-hmm. integrate this art journal with. Uh, with your diary so besides all the writing you will also have the uh, stickers and then also washi tapes and uh, stamps and then also uh, wax stamps so just like what I have in this uh, slide so, so you I'm can actually, actually your- writing is not boring because there are l- a lot of business involved like sticking like gluing yeah. Yes, yeah. There are a lot of things that you can do with your diary, actually. So perhaps uh, when we see the uh, the diary, it's just like writing and then writing and then writing. And then you say, oh, this is so boring. But no, you can actually decorate the diary pages so it becomes something beautiful. Like. Yeah, it is nice. It is. So uh, it's- be creative with yourself. Uh, Can I, uh, can we move to the next slide? Huh? So, yeah, so you might ask, so why are journaling? So uh, let me share another story of mine, just uh, very brief. I actually started uh, art journaling a year ago because I was dealing with uh, with grief and it was uh, it was something that I have never dealt with before. So I need to do something that distract me Uh, my friend actually introduced me to this uh, art journaling or scrapbooking. Uh, I used to label myself as someone who is not creative. I cannot draw, I cannot sing, but I know that I can write. So I would like to try my hand on this. And uh, apparently I can do it. So when I, when I scrapbook or when I do art journal, I distract myself by learning about the composition and then also about the color palette and then about the uh, style and then also a uh, pattern that I'm going to uh, have for that spread, for that page. Uh-huh. Uh, even when I, uh, after a year of doing this uh, art journaling, I found that my scrapbook style is vintage minimalism. because I'm a minimalist myself. So apparently it shows. It shows in my spread. <laughs> <That>. <laughs> It's your, your personality, yeah? Yeah, so 
it shows in uh and you just give uh a space for the other version that you have not seen to just come out in this diary so it's not only in the form of writing but also in the form of sticking papers and then stickers it's just it's just amazing like how this uh journaling activity can open up so much about you and you don't even have to be afraid that this is going to be uh spilled around the world because it's your safe space it's just for you and yourself yes uh, nobody will see it nobody will read it yes it's just you allow them yes <laughs> unless uh you allow them to read unless you share it with them but usually that's for for the ring one people <laughs> <laughs> so actually th this is like you you like uh like a cut it from magazines or newspaper or something like that right it's 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 it it's not a rocket science it's a, it's a very easy thing to do right it is it is actually a very easy thing to do uh the thing is that just don't let ourselves compare with uh, with the other people because uh, when you seek for the inspiration for this, uh, for example, for this spread month, there are mm -hmm. a lot of uh, journaling accounts on Instagram. And then maybe when we look for the inspiration, we start to compare like, oh, their pages are so aesthetic and mine is ugly. No, just don't think about it. Just think that, oh, I'm going to make something out of this old papers and then stickers, and I'm going to make it my style. So if it is not aesthetic, then it's fine. If it is not pretty, if it is not Instagram worthy, then it's fine. I mean, why would you put your diary page on Instagram? It's for you. So just, uh, mm -hmm. just be confident. But actually, I, I saw some like some people actually like captured this thing mm -hmm. and then put it on their social media. Is it is it like OK or not OK? <laughs> uh, it's, it's your call, actually. I mean, if you think that you would like to share it with uh, the other uh, people, then share it. But if you think that, oh, I think the spread is too personal for me, so maybe I don't have to share it, then it's fine too. Okay, so it's your right call. Away. Yeah, it's your call, actually. Uh, you get to decide which spread that you would like to uh, share with the others, with the public, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which uh, spread that you would like to keep for yourself. Um, oh, you can also actually reduce waste. Well, maybe not in the massive scale. Uh, how, how, is, like, how is that? How is that? Uh, you, you know that uh, when we buy clothes or maybe when we uh, buy something online, we usually have this uh, tag mask, this, this clothing tag, and then also the thank mm -hmm. you card. And sometimes uh, yeah. they will use uh, recycled paper. So don't throw it away. Use it for your spread. So you can actually help reduce waste. Ah, I, nice. yeah. I usually use the clothing pack for my spread. Ah, that's that's very creative of you. I uh, I, I I don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also get the inspiration from uh the other uh journaling enthusiasts. So they will usually also keep the uh fast food receipt. And then they will uh, put it, uh, yeah, on their spread. So it's like also some kind of memento page. Like, for example, on that day, you spend it with your best friend, and then you get to buy your favorite food, and then you get to watch movie. So you stick the uh, receipt and then also the uh, cinema ticket on that spread. And then uh, you will date it, like, for example, August 30. Oh, uh, you, I get to spend uh, this day with my best friend and then uh, we ate a uh, donut kebab, for example, and then uh, I bought this uh, shirt and then we also watch Pangapi Setan, for example. So this, is, this has been a very happy day. So you get the uh, emotions, you get all the feelings, you get 
the story in the form of writing, and then you also get the memento from the tickets from the receipts. So it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I I think I still remember that I I I think I I scrap the ticket to Disneyland like the first time. It's like years ago. Mm-hmm. I put it in in my scrapbook, and I still I think I still have it. When every time I saw it, it's like, oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but when you saw the ticket, mas, you can still feel the happiness the thrill the excitement that you had yeah, at yes. that particular day right so yeah, yes yes exactly brings back really good memory exactly exactly so i wondering about this page is it is it yes. yours yes so you may- these, <laughs> these are my spread so uh well this is Well, I will admit that this is not as aesthetic as uh, those who post their uh, spreads on Instagram, but it's mine and uh, that's how I like it. So, okay, uh, it's fine if it is not pretty. I mean, as long as I like it, as long as I'm happy with it, and I think that, oh, this is so me, this is so vintage and this is so minimalist. So I'm happy with it. So, all right. That's all that matters. Actually, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so you. I I might have different spread, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very cute. It's very cute. I I I bet most girls uh love this kind of spread, and this kind of images. Um, it's so it's so aesthetic. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mas. Uh, this was from my uh, first days when I tried uh, journaling. So those uh, two images on the uh, right below are my scrapbook styles. Oh, speaking about scrapbook styles, I think I would like to play a game with you and then also with the other ah. participants. Okay, well, game. You you don't tell me the game yet. So <laughs> but it, it, I don't. I don't have conspiracy with seeing this <laughs> game. <laughs> so what is it? What is it? <laughs> uh, I have my scrapbook stuff with me. All right. So uh, I'm going to show it to you and uh, please uh, answer. What is the name of that scrapbook stuff? Okay. okay you yes. So you open your mic. Open your mic. Open your mic. Yeah. So actually, it's an open session. Just answer it. All right, so maybe I will start with the easy one, okay? Can anyone see it? It's the, it's manga, Japanese uh-huh. characters. All right. Can you guess what it is? Oh. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's Japanese manga, I think, yeah. Uh, one in kimono, it's like the, the gentleman mm-hmm. and the ladies with a sh- short or maybe mini skirt. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Does anyone else have different answer? What is this? Anyone knows what is that? What is this? Is that the one um that we used to play when we were in elementary school when we play dress up and we oh, kind of like attach dolls? <laughs> yeah. This is actually <laughs> first. So you will just fill it off and then you stick it. This is actually stickers. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I think Mutiara is right. That, that yeah. is the thing that uh, 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 the little children play years mm-hmm. ago. Yeah, the paper dolls. Uh, I also play it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's a sticker. So you can like stick it to your scrapbook. Mm-hmm. So, ah, nice. Thanks. Very good, Mutiara. Next up is this one. Uh, okay. So it's a washi tape 
Yes, the washi tape. Yes, ah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. This is washi tape. So okay, so one. okay, I I know washi tape from the internet, but I don't know what actually is. So <laughs> can can you explain what is washi tape? Is it like? Uh, this is actually a paper tape. So this is like cello tape, but uh, it has colors in it. Like for example, this is the pink one, and this is the purple one, and uh, this is the black one. Uh, you use it to decorate it. Uh, I think that some of the uh, journaling enthusiasts will have the grid ones, like, oh, I don't have it me right now. Uh, so the colorful ones and uh, uh, the ones with characters as well, like, for example, uh, Snow Pea and then uh, do. So it depends on their theme and then also their style. But uh, I have this uh, pastel colored one. Ah, that's nice. Style. Yeah. That nice. I want to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, show yeah. show us more. All right. More. So another thing is that oh, there is oh this one. Can you guess? Eh? No. Can... All right. Can you see it? Uh. Uh. Is there a sticker? No, it's not a sticker. Can anyone guess what it is? It's a coaster. Oh no no no! It's not a coaster. Uh, uh yes. It, well, it looks like a coaster mask, but it's not actually. I mean, the pattern looks like a coaster. Does anyone know what it is? Anyone knows what is it? I, I actually I have no idea. It's not stick notes. Yeah. Huh? Stick notes. No, it's not. It's not stick notes actually. Uh, this is called doily paper. Uh, you use it to decorate your page. Uh, this is my art journal, and I usually use it for uh, this one. So I usually use for the side of the page. That's the doily paper. So, so actually, doily paper, it's like ha having like, uh, like, the like embroidery. Pattern. Like yes, embroidery. embroidery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's very neat. If you buy uh, cookies and then also uh, cakes, you will find this in the uh, canister to absorb the oil and the butter. I see, I see, I see. So oh, that's, that's yeah, just just to to find some of the stuff is actually ex exciting, but I know that there are a lot of actually stuff in this journaling things. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's some of the uh, stuff that I usually use to decorate my page, uh, besides the uh, stickers and then also the uh, what is it? The cutout works from uh, famous people. So those are only uh, a few of my journaling stuff. Uh, I have two boxes here in my room. So that's a lot of it. Okay, uh, so Cindy, so actually I know that there are some some of our friends in here, Bridge Zoners, yeah. uh, actually have a writing or journaling as their hobbies already. And some of mm -hmm. them is actually start to getting excited about it. Can, can you... Can you give us some tips? Uh, about the art journaling? Yes, 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 yes. All right. So uh, I think we should go to our next slide, Ma, for that. All right. So how do you keep this thing going? So basically, be consistent. Uh, I usually spend like one or one and a half hour uh, every night, either to write something uh, about that day or to do the art journal. Uh, when you first start it, it will usually uh, take longer time, but it's fine. Uh, when I first started it, I took one hour to make one spread, but now it's only like 15 to 20 minutes tops. Well, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you're just getting used to it. So sometimes you, you get the inspiration in your head and you will just uh, stick everything in the paper and then voila, it's there. Uh, the thing is that, yes, be consistent. Uh, I mean, sorry, be consistent. I mean, uh, 
if you can spend hours uh, to get to know everyone else, your celebrity, your friends, and then also uh, your favorite friends, then please make time for yourself. I mean, uh, talk to your talk to yourself and then get to know your emotions, get to know yourself deeper. And mm -hmm. uh, sorry, can we go back to the previous slide? Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Fine. All right. And uh, please be yourself. I mean, you do not need to copy uh, anyone else. And just it is what it is. I mean, if you're happy on that day and then uh, you want to use big words, you want to use uh, strong words, then use it. Because sometimes when you write it down on social media, people will just like go, why are you writing like this? You are so you're just exaggerating things. It's just a common thing, but it's your own happiness. I mean, uh, you get to be happy. So, and also if you are angry and then you want to use curse words, then use curse words on your diary. It's safe. No one's going to judge you for being rude, for being harsh. No, I mean, you are just talking to yourself and you're angry for that one. Or maybe when you are anxious and then you want to cry, then cry. So it's your safe space. This is, the place where you can be yourself, uh, just who you are, and then be attentive. So sometimes when we wake up in the morning, we just feel like, oh, this is going to be another boring day, maybe go to school, go to college, and, or maybe go to office with my friends, and, just, and it's just going to be another day. But this is what I learned when I write uh, my diary and listen to my favorite radio program, because my favorite radio announcer would ask, hey, how are you uh, How are you today? So he would like us to share our experience. So uh, his program was only once a week. So on that seven days, on those seven days in a week, I always try to find something fun, something that I can share with him. So if I can share it with someone else, then why can I share with, with myself? I mean, when you wake up, maybe try to think that, oh, what will happen today? What does today has in store for me? Like, am I going to meet someone new today? Am I going to eat something new today? Does my cross talk to me? Will he talk to me today, for example? So try to uh, get up and then start the day uh, with, uh, with those questions. So when you are going through the day, you will uh, try to see the details of that day. It will also save you from scrolling down social media all the time because you're just trying to pay attention on that day, on the other people, and then on yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think that- I like that. I like that. Sometimes we are like glued to our phone and actually like swipe, swipe, and swipe like like looking at something that actually we're, we're, we're not looking forward to or we're not actually needing, but we're, we don't know what else to do, right? So actually, this okay. is like an alternative, like during, mm -hmm. even just during this pandemic, where actually we, we spend a lot of time at home by ourselves. So actually, this is like an alternative that actually, uh, an idea that you can actually do in a creative yeah. way you cannot yeah. you don't you don't have to only write but you can also like stick something like mm -hmm. be creative about it right exactly you can just be creative as possible as you can and no one's going to uh judge you like for example oh that's ugly that's not instagram worthy hey who cares it's you i mean if it makes you happy right so just do mm -hmm. it yeah that's right I know that uh, some of you are having questions and also looking forward for the FGD session after this, but I I will take pictures first because it's our tradition. Do you mind, Cindy, if we take pictures together? No, 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 please. Let's take pictures together. Okay. So I think... Uh, Katmanda will help me to take pictures. Uh, so, guys, I... I encourage all of you to open your camera.
Just me, I, we cannot take your pictures without your face in it. So please open your um, cam. Please do open your cam. Uh, we're going to take pictures. Just one um, second. Oh, no, no. It's not one second. It's maybe 10 seconds. Uh, okay. Open your Yin. How about Sunny? Uh, Kadika and also Fahra. Ferdi, Hari, Kak Ani, Kak Asto, Ferdi, Kak Mus. Uh. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. So, Jadi, there are two pictures in here. Hello? Yes, oh, yes. sorry. I cannot. Uh, hello? Is ya, Kak Demi. I... Oh, You're going to now? pictures? Okay. Yes, yes. So there are two pictures. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are two slides. So make sure you don't. Uh, okay. Chat while I'm taking picture. Okay. One, two. Okay. Wait a sec. Okay, for the second, second slide. Second slide. Okay. One, okay. two. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you, Kak Sofia Dewi, for taking our pictures for today. So your pictures is going to be broadcast on Instagram, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, so I, uh, I think I will... I will give you chances to ask questions. So anyone would ask questions, just raise your hand. We will do it real quick because we don't have a lot of time because we will go to FGD session, which is also very fun with your facilitators. I know we have chosen facilitators today. They're going to guide you in this uh, FGD session, but just one or two questions are still allowed. Right, Cindy? Yeah, one or two questions. Okay, uh, one. Would be fine. Anyone, you can raise your hand. Just ask a real quick questions if you, if you uh, curious about uh, what Cindy just told us today. Actually, uh, uh, it's a very good, very good sharing. It's a very good things that actually we're we're now actually start to forget like we don't do a lot of writing nowadays we do a lot of scrolling scrolling yeah. and scrolling <laughs> so we do we sometimes we forget how to write even my handwriting is like, like just so bad <laughs> <laughs> i think we are now getting used to typing more <laughs> okay i have i have uh here uh yasrin yasrin Hi, yes, hello, hello. Can you hear my hello. voice? Yes, yes. Clear. Yeah. So my actually I'm coming late. Sorry for that first. Uh, totally just wanna good. ask to Ka uh Cindy. Ka Cindy. Uh so uh actually I love to do hand lettering art. And it's uh, quite same with journaling because journaling yeah. is not only stick and write something on paper, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. just want to ask that, do you love to do hand lettering as well or not? <laughs> uh, it's been a long time now that I haven't done any lettering. <laughs> I used to, I used to, but now only uh, decorating and then uh, writing, but not lettering. Oh, because when when you are journaling, you what is it? You monkeys, you're a journal, yes, right? Decorate, decorate. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you decorate the page. Uh huh. Sometimes, uh, I see that some people do uh lettering to decorate the page, especially if you're doing the bullet journal. But I don't do that. I haven't been doing that for quite a long time now. I think the last time I did that was when, uh, I was back in college. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So it's it's but gonna yes. it's gonna be fun if you if you show your art lettering actually, but no. <laughs> yes, oh, Rin, I can show you my lettering, cakar ayam lettering. <laughs> 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 
Thank you for the question, Yasrin. Very good questions. Yes. We love that questions. Okay, next we have Bonnie. Bonnie, what's your questions? Hello. Yeah, just call me Ekta. Can oh, you Ekta. hear my voice? Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, when I uh, read the uh, title, yeah, journaling, uh, my ideals at that time is, uh, um, what is it, about... Yeah, like uh, uh, making a kind of uh, write, writing, yeah, writing, but academically, but actually it is more fun, yeah. Um, I just want, uh, I'm just curious, uh, that diary always agree with uh, what we are uh, going to say, yeah, and never debate and never argue. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Cindy, uh, do you think that uh, journaling or making diary or, yeah, um, just a kind of, what is it, uh, self-justification? Because uh, we always write, yeah, when we are angry and then we write down what we are feeling. And then when uh, someone uh, doesn't agree with us, uh, but diary always agree with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> do you think that a diary make uh, make us more selfish? You know, uh, because it is kind of self justification mm -hmm. or what yeah. is it? Um, yeah, kayak pembenaran I diri. Gitu. <laughs> yeah, Cindy. Um, I think that um, when we pour our emotions at a time, uh, of course, we will try to uh, validate our own feelings. Like, for example, uh, I remember that uh, when I was really angry, uh, I write and I blame all the people and then I wrote down their name and then I also list down all their mistakes. But uh, days after that, I will just read again the entry and I was just like, wow, this is so childish of me. This is, uh, this is bad because... I was just actually projecting my anger to them. So it actually, uh, when we write, when we write it down on that uh, particular time, of course, uh, we were overwhelmed by our emotion, but that is fine. But after several days, uh, it actually gives us a chance to reflect on what we said, on what we wrote. So we get to see that, oh, this is not right. I shouldn't have state this to this person. I shouldn't have done this to this person. Sometimes it's uh, when we admit that kind of thing to the person in uh, uh, directly, maybe we would feel embarrassed, but at least we can admit it uh, to ourselves that it's, it's wrong. It's wrong to say some, to say things like that. It's wrong to do things like that. So, yeah, but that's based on my uh, personal experience. So thank you, Kasindi. Thank you, Kasindi, for the answer. Is it, is that answering your question, Ekta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's time, yeah, actually, yes, indeed. Yeah, thank okay, you. Kasindi. Great. I know that I supposed to have three questions, and Fahra is actually raising their hand, but I will save you for later uh, because we are now we have to go to FGD sessions. So we have uh, our wonderful facilitator today. We have Kak Sofia, Kak Mutiara, Kak Alfi, Kak Mangku, Kak Debi, Kak Dian, Kak Reza. I would like to say thank you for, for you who's being our volunteer for today. Okay, so guys, you will be joining them in FGD session. So Kak Manda will divide you into uh, different uh, groups. So have a blessed with them have a great discussion you can ask them question you can uh, share your opinion okay don't don't be shy just use your time you have 20 minutes okay guys enjoy your time Okay, so one by one is going to the room. Please go to your designated uh, FGD room. So some of us will stay in the main room. Mm -hmm.
I think maybe uh, uh, Beverly, Kadika, Manda also will be here, right? Yeah, right. Yes, Kak. Mm -hmm. Can can we like maybe we can uh, add uh, uh, other members? I yeah sure couple. Actually, I've already put some of the members in the breakout room, but they haven't joined, like Kak Sunny, Kak Alfie. And, yeah. Yeah, uh, Alfie and. Because Kak well, Alfie is driving, maybe Alfie he wants to is join. Asking, I, I <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare to do it, <laughs> like. Uh, um, splitting my concentration between driving and speaking, it's really hard. But, well, great, you can do it. Okay, we have Beverly, we have Manda, we have Kadika here. So, so actually, guys, so this is like, it's like a more personal time. Maybe when we have a lot of people, uh, we don't want to ask questions, but I think this is like the right time to ask questions. Maybe you like writing, maybe you write diary, or maybe just like me, my boss is my to-do list. So I, I have like a book. It's, it's, it's actually not my diary. It's my boss. So <laughs> every morning I open that book and I know that book will give me order because I wrote it down the night before what to do like the whole day otherwise i will like just lose track like what i supposed to do today i don't know mm -hmm. but actually i i keep that habit like doing it like uh one night before mm -hmm. well actually because uh, all day long we already done like some uh task maybe some of them are not done yet so actually I just try to write it down before I go to sleep so I do not forget. So in, in the morning, I will know what actually I have to do like to finish or to continue. Otherwise, I will lose off track because I my memory is gone when I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a, it's a great way to do. I mean, uh, you know that you will uh, keep track of yourself on that day. Because sometimes we just we just forgot what we have to do on that day. When when we are too busy, sometimes we just skip uh some things. Yes, yes. How about Beverly, Beverly and Manda and Kadika? And also who's behind uh the is it uh Devi? No. Uh, Manda. Manda using two oh, devices. Okay. Two devices. Yeah. Using two devices. <laughs> Superpower girl, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Beverly. First, how about you? Ah, uh, I you also like did right as well. Uh, honestly, I also do the same thing like you, Rachel, because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I always write down for the next day what kind of daily activities that I should accomplish. But I always write down after working hours because I think that I don't need to write down about my working activities just only about how to working hours then what should i accomplish then and uh, speaking of journaling honestly i've been crazy about journaling when i was uh kindergarten around elementary school but um, i stopped journaling when i was around senior high school wait yeah. wait beth Mm -hmm. You start writing when you're in kindergarten. Yeah, kindergarten and elementary. And I still save wow, my diary. Genius. I still save I don't my diary read. right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, yeah. Um, I just remember the first diary that I purchased. Um, actually, my mother purchased it for me. And I was writing everything that uh, Cindy... Uh, has been explaining before about my feeling and also when I was uh, rereading about my mm, my reflection of myself when I was a kid it's kind of uh, <laughs> I really want to start my journaling again after 
outside explanations honestly because right now I think that I have time to do that because right now I re- I'm crazy about uh, reading books rather than journaling or even like writing. Oh, I see. Ah, yes. that's nice. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy want to say something? Oh, uh, well, I actually also started uh, pretty early, but not as early as Beverly. I started writing my diary when I was in sixth uh, Wait, no, not sixth grade, fourth grade, because it was, well, yes, uh, when I was in fourth grade. Uh, my inspiration was actually Lupus theories. I'm sure that you know Lupus. Yes. <laughs> so Lupus has uh, a sister called Lulu, right? And then Lulu actually also writes diary. And then uh, at the back page of uh, the final story, uh, there is this diary entry from Lulu. And I was like, oh, I think it's fun if if I can write something like that. And then I get to uh, draw something on the diary page. So I asked my dad to purchase uh, my first diary. And it's been going for like, years now <laughs> wow uh i stopped for a while uh when i graduated uh from college and i just started again recently so yes it's been, uh, it's been fun actually because uh actually i've been missing writing <laughs> like yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. Spending, uh, too much time on social media it's just getting unhealthy yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, when if I'm related to to Beverly, when I'm back to kindergarten, I just try to remember what I did. Actually, I was like doodling on the wall, and like my mm-hmm. mother doesn't support me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think every mom would get angry at that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How about Manda? Hello, uh, hello, Cindy. Thank you so much for sharing about this topic. I found it really interesting, and I love to write a journal. When I was, a ki- I, I started writing a journal when I was in my fourth grade, and at that time, I wrote about my dreams. I've always wanted to visit Europe, and then. Uh, right now, I try. To, uh, I always try to check my old journals, and I smile at them because, wow, I wrote this like 15, uh, 16 years ago, and yeah, it's so memorable. I really, I really enjoy writing a journal. But my problem is, uh, I'm not really consistent in writing. So maybe you can give some tips. I really want to be consistent in writing a journal, but I don't. I haven't actually made this uh, fancy journal like the ones that are de- decorated. I just write it on my uh, on a notebook or maybe on my phone. So maybe you can give some tips on how to be consistent in writing and also how to start uh, doing a journal using that scrapbook thing. <laughs> I really want to try it, but I'm not that creative. I have that. Qu- uh, those are my two questions for Cassindi. <laughs> okay. Very good uh, question. I think that uh, if you would like to be uh, consistent, uh, just like I said in the, uh, I mean, on the, on the last slide, you have to be attentive. So. When you get up in the morning, uh, try to ask yourself what kind of interesting things that is going to happen to me today. Just, just small things, maybe new lunchbox or maybe a new friends or maybe just a nice chit chat with your friends. And then when you are doing that or when you are uh, having that, uh, that moment, uh, ask yourself, like, uh, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Do you feel... Uh, anxious or maybe uh do you feel thrilled and uh, that way uh when you go home and then uh after you have uh, your dinner so you can just uh, sit with yourself and then start retelling the stories that oh uh today uh when i have lunch with my friends uh i left my phone on my back so that we can have a nice chit chat i think that this is this is a rare moment because we usually eat while scrolling our own uh, social media account. But today we get to chat uh, with each other and apparently we have the same K-pop idol, for example. So what is it uh, that makes you, sorry, that makes that day interesting? I think that uh, you can try to uh, 
ask yourself every day when you wake up what kind of interesting things that will happen today. and then you can uh you can be uh looking forward to the time when you have to write the diary and uh sorry what was the second question again Monday? Hey, your your mic Monday, is not open. i think you're mute or you're muted Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Cindy, uh, my second question is: I want to start doing a, you know, scrapbook, making scrapbook, that creative journaling. But uh, as I'm not that kind of creative in terms of decorating and designing, so do you have any suggestions, guys, as a beginner, from uh, from me? Uh, I think for the very first time, we have to release the "I am not creative" label because I used to label myself like that. So if you want to see, this is my first spread. So this is just a bunch of stickers. Uh, can you see it? Out? Because is, is that really your first, uh, like, scrap? Yes, this is my first uh, scrapbook. This is oh. my first spread. So this is just a bunch of stickers, and then I just tried to stick it. It's not aesthetic at all. But I was like, hey, I get to do it. This is my first spread. I'm so proud of it. And I was like, oh, that's I so get cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, I, I, I remember that kind of feeling like, oh my God, apparently I can do it. So um, yeah. I get enthusiastic and I, uh, I scroll down the Instagram just to look for the inspiration. And uh, this is what I have been doing for years. Sorry, I mean for a year now. So it's evolving into something that is more uh, complex, something that, I get to find my uh, style, and uh, this is my last spread. This one. Oops, sorry, it's missing. Wow! Thanks this for sharing one. that. That's interesting. I love. I love your scrapbook. So, yeah. First of all, just ditch the thought that I'm not creative. No, everyone is creative in their own way. I used to think like that until I tried this scrapbook, and apparently, like. Oh, this is apparently something that I can do pretty well. I mean, when we first try something, of course, it's not. Uh, it won't be as good as those who are doing it daily for for some time. Like for example, for years. I mean, it will be unfair if we compare our first chapter to someone's uh, forty chapter. For example, it's not fair. So. I think that will be the first thing you do. Just ditch the thought that you are not creative. You are creative. Yes. So first of all, we need to change the mindset, Yaka. Exactly. Yes. That's great. Thank you, Kasindi. Very valuable tips. Very. I, I, I think this is, I just remember like a, a friend of mine said, it's like before you start anything, just fix your mindset. Like, Yes. The, the first mindset that you actually like canceling yourself or sabotage yourself is yeah. uh, the Sometimes sounding of your mind that you're mm -hmm. actually saying that you cannot do it. You cannot do it. You actually do have to do it backward. Like, I can do it. Like, I can do it. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, Cindy, I have a question. It's only yes, a quick question. Okay, but yeah. still it. <laughs> Do you <laughs> always purchase that kind of safe journaling like papers or even like stickers? Or you you make it by your own self? Uh I usually buy it online. So uh I have this uh shops that I'm a regular on. Uh they sell uh, pretty stuff like the stickers and then also the dolly papers, uh, dot stickers, and then also washi tapes. And uh, sometimes they also uh, sell it on competitive price. So it doesn't cost that much, actually. But of course, you have to budget it so you don't uh, overbuy things. Mm -hmm. All right. Crazy curious about that e commerce. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I will share you the e-commerce. Or uh, you can just actually uh, search it on the uh, online commerce. Uh, just type journaling kit, and then uh, they will show you. Journaling kit or scrapbook kit, and then they will just show you the stores. Mm, all right. I'm going to search that one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you, 
Thank you, Be, for the question. Thank you, Cindy, for the answer. So we still have four minutes before everybody's coming back to the main room. So Kadika, are you there? Are you are you there? Since uh, Kadika is in Bali, so actually, if because I cannot see the visual, I don't know whether he's still in the office, still working, mm -hmm. because the time different. Uh, maybe he's still doing something. So actually, uh, Manda, do you do you think uh, uh, after this? Uh, presentation or this sharing from Cindy, are you going like to do scrapping very soon? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of doing scrapping, but uh, I just want to be consistent now in writing a gratitude journal uh, because I think this can help me to improve my mental health and at the same time, I can also practice my English. It's really helpful actually. Yeah. to improve my language skills. So yeah, I, I relate so much with today's class and thanks a lot, Kat Cindy, for your insight about this topic. It's yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I, I enjoy it so much. Can you try think, Manda? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. I think I agree with, with Manda that nowadays we don't do writing a lot. Actually, mm -hmm. this is like the part that actually we have to, to do more exercise like by writing. Right. Yeah. Uh, yes, Kak. Unless, unless you have, you want to have cakar ayam lettering like. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> uh, How? I think you just have to start it, Manda. I mean, yeah. yeah. Just don't listen to the voices in your head. Just start. Just do it. Yes. Start doing it now. <laughs> How about Bev? Obviously, I yeah, share. Sure. Um. You know that uh, your your explanations and also your presentations make me eager to to restart about journaling. I think that it took around around uh in ages to stop writing and yeah, I really want to start writing and journaling again. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, everyone are actually trying to commit to, to themselves to, mm -hmm. to do more writing. I know that it's like, it's, 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 it's I, I know that nowadays it's like a very heavy commitment, yeah? Not back yeah. then. When, back then we have to do like ev write everything down like if our, our teachers uh, uh, explain something we have to write it down but nowadays you will just, just take pictures me, just, yeah just send me the file <laughs> or i will photocopy <laughs> from you copy photocopy exactly <laughs> can you send me the pdf <laughs> can you send you me the pdf <laughs> Uh, uh, can can I get Kasin this uh, PowerPoint? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I think it, it's very fun that today all of us are having fun. And uh, I know that writing is not something new in our life. But uh, by uh, seeing this explanation, it, it brings us the spirit. It, it, it brings us the excitement. Like, Writing can be something that very benefit for our uh, daily life, uh, and it so it's also an alternative instead of like gluing to your gadgets all the time, scrolling and scrolling, don't know what to do. Actually, this is like a very good alternative. So, guys, we are going to welcome um, the bridge owners. They will be back in fifty seconds. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. Hello. So hello, guys. How was, how, how was the discussion? Need more time. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, it, it's, it's fun, right? So I, I know every one of you needs more time. And I know we have great facilitators today. Uh, I know you have a very good discussion with them. Mm. 
Okay. So I I will wait for the others to, to get back here. So I will ask uh Macy. Macy, can you yes, hear me? I'm... Yes. Your name remind me uh, a singer, a little singer when I was like uh back when I was yes, I know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Hair. okay, Macy. My so, lecture uh, who's, always told me about that. <laughs> so, who's your facilitator today? <laughs> who's your facilitator today? Miss Sophia, I think. Kak Sophia. Yes. Oh, so how was the discussion? Do oh, you enjoy it? I'm doing yes, I'm well. Doing well, 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 is very friendly. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good. Um, I know Kasovia is very friendly. Very yes. good. Very good. You can enjoy it. Okay. Uh, how about Ata? Ata, can you hear me, Ata? Ata, can you hear me? So, who's your facilitator? Yes, yes. Today? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss, what is it? I forgot. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Miss, Miss, can you show? Can you show up, Miss? Can anyone Debbie? show up? Yeah. Uh, Miss huh? Debbie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kak Debbie. So do you enjoy yeah. your discussion with Kak Debbie? Yeah. Yeah, the discussion go went well. And yeah, we smooth discuss. We discuss smoothly. Okay, very good. I'm happy that uh, you enjoy the discussion. Uh, I will start from Ka Mutiara. So Ka Mutiara, our one of our facilitators today. So how was the discussion and who will be your representative today? Okay, the discussion went very well. We have a lot of um um how to say we have a lot of participants who participate from like youngers to like um seniors, I would say. So for the representative, we have decided to choose Alfreda. Alfreda. Hello, Alfreda. Is she here? Wait, let me check. So Kamanda, our host today helps you with the screen sharing. So you can, if you forget the pointers, you can uh, see the, the screen. Yes, I, yes, Alf, Alfreda is here. Hi, can you un unmute yourself and um, just do a testing so we can hear you? Alfreda, can, can you hear us? Can is that here? Oh, okay. Oh, can. Go ahead, Alfreda. Okay, can you repeat the question? You might answer um, what we have uh, discussed in today's uh, FGD. So you just have to like uh, make a summary out of it. Yeah, just mm -hmm. a simple brief one. It's fine. So by the way, this is Alfreda first time. So she might be nervous. So ah. don't worry, Alfreda. <laughs> yeah, very good. Welcome to Bridge Zone. So let's go. Do it. We, we will be, be, we'll be behind you. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sorry if uh, my language is not good because I'm a learner, eh, learner, yeah. And I try to answer the question. What, what is this, uh, Kak Mutiara? Um, you have any time you want, probably like five minutes, three minutes, it's fine. It's up three to minutes. you. Yeah, three minutes. Okay. Mm. Just tell us your uh, uh, opinion about writing. Do you, do you like to write? Okay, actually, I don't like uh, writing because mm -hmm. actually, I, I don't like a lot of letter and writing. Uh, but I need to try it because uh, when we don't have everyone to share our um, problem and uh, we can we cannot believe to everyone to share our um, problem 
we can journaling, we can writing because um, maybe uh, actually I have friend, but no one um, can in bahasa is meng, uh, meng cover uh, apa yang kita to uh, cover yeah to cover to cover uh, our problem and problem. maybe very good. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, Very I'm good. A bit nervous. It's okay. You're doing great. You know, I okay. I don't know if you don't tell us you're a first timer. You you're doing great. You still want to continue? Uh, I think enough. Thanks. Thanks for Thank. Kak Mutiara and Kak Koko. Thank you, Frida. I know Kak Mutiara has done a very good job in uh leading the FGT session so Fri Frida uh, the first timer can speak in the big room I, I think we should give a uh, big applause for her thank you so much Frida next time you should do it more often okay so mm -hmm. next we have Kak Reza our facilitator for today Kak Reza okay hello so, how, was the discussion? how was the discussion so, uh, uh, it works great. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we agree on something uh, that uh, a, a man, you, you know, rarely showing the emotion on on writings or on people. So, but yeah, that's what a great discussion. And uh, to representative our group, uh, we have uh, Mas Asto. Yeah, Mas Asto, can you? Uh, okay. uh give a brief about what we have discussed okay i i know Thank asto you. is not first timer <laughs> senior yeah <laughs> senior. okay asto it's yours okay in our uh, fgd we have two facilitator reza and Rifki. no i'm joking i'm joking just Reza. <laughs> <laughs> no we have three people um I share my thoughts of uh, journaling and then also Alfi. Um, from my perspective, uh, if I answer question number one, have you tried journaling before? And I asked to Reza, is it some kind of uh, diary? Uh, if it is, I, I don't think so. I, um, I don't call it diary. I have write something. I have written something, but it's not about my experience. And if not, are you interested to try right now? No, I don't think I have the time right now. <laughs> but Alfik uh, said that he interested to try. And question number two, well, it's funny. It, in question number one, I'm not interested to try, but someone forced me to, to try. <laughs> to try journaling. So what will be your first entry? I just said, maybe hello world. <laughs> hello world, hello. okay. Yeah, you know, the IT know. stuff, you know, when you are trying to program, the first yeah. thing you program is hello world. Yeah. I but see. for okay. Alfie, it's like marketing. Funny enough, he is in medicine or something, so. He tried to to maybe diverse from his uh, field. <laughs> okay. You're, okay, you're an I, you're an IT guy, right? In yeah, now not anymore because uh, someone uh, put me in in other than IT, but that's another case. Actually, Next. you do writing, but you do writing. Uh, what's called in code? Coding. You mean in coding? Code. Yeah, <laughs> coding is not. If you if you talk to the the conductor, coding is not the same as journaling. <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of gibberish words you, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> I I think that would be another topic. So you would yeah. be the conductor, okay? Yeah. Tell us about okay. coding. It's a big thing nowadays. Okay, I try. Okay, okay. Uh, to to Thank finish you. this, uh, question yeah. number three. Do you think writing your own experiment will be difficult? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Reza said in the earlier that maybe men doesn't share uh, problems, emotion. Uh, I don't know. I just, I cannot express uh, feelings to writing. So, yeah. 
I yeah. think the Next same for, for Alfie. Next time you share uh, your coding with us, okay? Yeah. Cool, <laughs> cool. <a> doctor. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, thank you, Asto. Thank you, also, everyone. Thank you, Ka- also, thank you for Kareza for being a great facilitator today. I know you're doing a great job in your FGD session. And the last one, sorry guys, I I cannot give you all uh, the the turn to re- represent to be representative so we have Kalfi for the last Kalfi Okay thank you Kal Koko uh, so our FGD session run well so I choose Ka Nur Iskander to present uh, his answer in our FGD okay Ka Nur Iskander time is yours Okay thank you for give me time to presenting my experience uh to make journaling handwriting i want to answer uh, three fgd question the first question is uh, have you tried your journaling before mm. i don't have experience about uh write uh journaling uh because I have, I had uh, not good in handwriting. So uh, that's why I, I don't interest to write something in my book. If, uh, if I uh, any moment to, to make journal, uh, I interest to make my journal to uh, like blog or or website it's 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 very very easy uh, then then uh, writing by handwriting mm-hmm. and then uh, I want to answer the second question if uh, I have a journal in front of me what the first I can uh, entry maybe i can uh, write my daily activity in in my routine activity uh, the first the first entry i want to entry is the main topic uh, what i can write the main topic of sentence and then i can uh, at more uh, support supporting sentence. Uh, why I I I write uh, the first is main topic because uh, from topic sentence I can uh, describe more uh, more more word or more sentence from from one topic sentence, and then I want to uh, write many many thing uh, i had find in in that day uh, it is make me uh, more more have vocabulary maybe i can i can write it with with english language maybe uh, it is uh, the second answer and then uh, we can move the third answer uh yes. what 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 is uh make make difficult uh to write something uh if if we write something in our uh with our language it's very very simple but it is uh from our daily activity uh maybe we we can write uh from uh, we can we can write in other language maybe in english it is more difficult but if we not 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 know uh, the meaning what is uh, we can write we we can open the dictionary so it is make 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 me uh, difficult to to write journal in activity English. 
in English. Thank you. Very, very good, Iskandar. Yes. Very good. Ka Alfi, I know you're doing great job in your FGD session because I th I think uh, is Iskandar uh, uh, like ex uh, answering all, all of the questions and giving opinion yeah. in a very uh, uh, cr uh, chronological way. Like, yes. <laughs> Thank very you. Very good. Very good. My pleasure, Alfi. Thank you, Iskandar. Thank you so much. Well, guys, I I have to say sorry for for Kak Mangku, Kak Debbie, Kak Dian, Kak Reza, and uh, all the bridge owners inside the FGD group, uh, because it comes to the end of our today session. But I will ask Kak Cindy for our, her closing statement. Kak Cindy, uh, what is closing statement for you? Uh, from from you to us. Uh, so from my sharing tonight, I would just like to uh, say to all of you that if you journal, journal to express, not to impress, because it's for you. To express, but not to impress. I, no. I love that. I love that. I love that. Thank you, Kasindi. Thank you for your sharing today. And please give a big applause uh, for Kasindi. Uh, thank you for the volunteer, uh, for the conductor, also for the uh, facilitators today. Uh, also, all bridge owners and also first timers today, please do come again. Okay, tomorrow we will have class, also Saturday. Also, please do come on next Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much. I have to say uh, goodbye. Thank you so much. See you. See you tomorrow. Or see you next week. Bye bye. See you, Brazilians. Thank you so much.